Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Intermoney Stocks. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures, basically flat, trading at 28.80 per contract. What can you say? Futures have had a pretty good week overall, and they're hanging in there this morning. Uh, generally, after we have uh, quite a few days of upside, we'll normally get some kind of a pullback. That has really not happened yet. So we'll see what today brings. Now we have lots of geopolitical events still out there lurking. So let's sit tight. But in the meantime, let's go over the stocks and the news. Let's get started here with Constellation Brands. Ticker, ticker symbol is STZ. Stock right now reporting earnings closed at $179.69. Now trading at $180.55. You're going to see that the stock did make a move here this morning in the pre-market, but it has come back down to just above the break-even level. So we'll be watching this one today. Uh, you also want to watch uh, Budweiser, ticker symbol BUD. <clears throat> this could also be in play today. This is actually trading up a little bit on the back of that news. Let's take a look at Tesla. Tesla came out with news last night. It really wasn't the greatest. It looks like deliveries fell 31% during the first quarter. Stock is getting slammed today. Closed at 291.81. Now trading at 261.28. That is an ugly haircut. The only level that I see for Tesla will be around the 240 area. Until it gets there, I really don't think there's much to do. Again, if you own Tesla, uh, unfortunately, that's some negative news and a pretty good sell-off here. Stock is down about 30 points this morning. Next up, we want to take a look at Micron. Micron was downgraded by Morgan Stanley. Stock closed yesterday at $43.90. Now trading at $42.53. So you got a little bit of a haircut. Micron's been on a nice tear to the upside. We'll see how it plays out by the close. This could affect other semiconductor names, but again, we'll see how Micron plays out. This was a Micron-specific downgrade. Next up, we want to take a look at Roku. It looks like Roku is downgraded, like I believe, as well. Stock is trading at $66.95. Closed at $68.00. And 60 cents. Roku's been on a tear as well. Right now, when I look at the stock, though, I don't think there's a whole lot to do just yet, but we will keep this on the radar today. If it gets down to around $94.50, um, I do think there's probably some, uh, excuse me, $64.50. I do think you'll have a little minor intraday support uh, potentially for a scalp play. So keep that on the radar today. Let's go over to Facebook. Facebook right now. Trading at uh, 176.35, stock closed at 173.54. Looks like that was upgraded this morning, so Facebook is getting a little bit of a lift. Looks like it was uh, upgraded to a buy from neutral at Guggenheim. Either way, a uh, nice little pop there. Facebook did come under pressure yesterday, as it looks like uh, some of their data was on Amazon uh, Web Services servers. And again, uh, they just continue to fight that battle. But either way, uh, the stock is getting upgraded today. We'll see how it plays out. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Today we have gold futures trading down seven dollars and yeah, just seven bucks to twelve hundred and eighty-eight dollars and thirty cents an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, that's trading down around one twenty-one twenty-eight. Gold has continued to struggle as the dollar has continued to move higher. And really, that's the bottom line there. Dollar up a little bit again this morning. Next up, we have crude oil trading higher by 22 cents to $22.68 a barrel. So crude oil holding steady this morning. Right now, you have the USO trading at around 13.02, closed at 12.99. So there you have it. Once again, if you haven't done so, come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. Nice little day yesterday in the intraday stock chat room, and I'm going to look to have another one today. So if you haven't done it, come on over, take that seven-day free trial. You can trade right along with us. We've had a great 2019 so far, and we're going to look to keep that going. All right, let's wrap it up here. I want to wish you all a great trading session, and we'll see you a little bit later on the chart.